All right, so I just want to do a quick overview here of uh, my Phoenix 4200DL controller and how I use it, uh, but with an emphasis on the Bluetooth app. So I've got it set up with each light having its own control, but then the slide switch here gives, uh, gives three levels of lighting. So uh, position one is just the front bumper, grill, rear bumper, tail lights. Second position adds to that the rocker panel lights and the light bars in the uh, headache rack. And then third position adds to that the dash lights. So that would be every light on the truck. So if I've got the emergency bar on, it's in the rack, I can uh, set it to traffic advisor mode, left or right, and center out as well. Uh, turn that off, and then this gives me arrow bar or TA control over the visor bar as well. And then over here is my white lighting, scene lighting. So work lights are side facing, takedowns are forward facing, and work lights, large button, are rear facing. But what's really cool is the app, the Phoenix app. So what you'll notice here is it's identical. The screen on the phone is the same as the controller. And if I press a button on the controller, it activates that same button in the app and vice versa. So if I turn on my floods in the app, same thing on the physical controller. If I do my warning, same thing. Error bar features, it's all the same controls in the app as on the physical uh, control head. So it's a very handy and it's a very intuitive setup. It works all the same, including the switch positions, although it of course does not physically move the switch. So what's handy about it is outside of the truck. Behind my truck, I would like to have some lights. I can turn on my rear floods and then they turn on. So I have complete control, I can do my warning. Uh, I can set to a uh, arrow bar pattern, uh, or I can do my center out pattern. I can do just traffic advisor patterns. I can control my rear. So here I can do my deck lights here with the white flood mode, or I could independently turn on the white flood mode. I can do the grill lights and my dash lights and then uh, traffic advisor controls on that as well. And I can also control the takedown lights remotely as well. And so it's nice, the entire system can be easily controlled right from the phone or from the cab of the truck. Okay, then one other thing here too uh, that's worth mentioning is how I use my upfitter switches. Uh, switch number one is the master power for the Phoenix controller. Uh, switch number two is my rigid fog lights. Three is my uh, auxiliary light bar in the front, which I'll show you here in a moment. And then six is actually a backup alarm. When I shift into reverse, I have the backup alarm, which can be then turned off. So in its normal state, it's off. If I would like to have a backup alarm, I can flip the switch. And while I'm in reverse, I have a backup alarm. Those lights in the front. So these are Rigid Industries D2 Dually. And they're actually white lights with uh, amber lenses over them to protect the actual lens itself. And it actually makes them more functional as fog lights. And then this is a uh, Strobes and More True Dual 2.0. So what is unique about this is that the outside modules on either side are flood modules, flood optics. And then the center section is a spot optic. So you get a really good combination of, of light. And then the outer sections on either side, which are the flood modules, flood optics, are dual color. So right now they're white, but then they will also override into flashing amber. And tied into that bar are the surface mounted lights right here. So 
that system is connected. The surface mounted lights on either side tie into the bar in the center and allow for uh, alternating patterns, which is really, really neat. All right, so that's how I set up my truck with the Phoenix 4200 DL controller. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.